Belle accidentally finds a bag worth $10 million on an underground seat. She looked around and saw that no one was looking, so she picked up the bag and quickly walked out of the underground. She then opened it and looked through it, but there was nothing inside except an ID card of the owner. The next day, the girl found the owner of the bag according to the address on the ID card, but the owner didn't even say thank you. What was even stranger was that she didn't seem to care about the expensive bag. Out of courtesy, the woman invited the girl into her house and she agreed without thinking twice. Unbeknownst to her, she already had one foot in the other woman's trap. The woman brings her coffee and the two of them get to know each other. The girl learns that the woman's name is Gray and that her husband has been dead for many years and that she has a daughter in Paris who goes to school. Gray said she often felt lonely living alone in such a large villa. The girl empathized with Gray because her mother had died and he was lonely in the big city on his own. The more they talked, the more they got to know each other. The more they felt a sense of sympathy for each other. Gray also learns that the girl's name is Frances. Over the next few days, the two would go out and talk to each other almost every day, and they became good friends. Frances saw her mother in Gray, but to Gray it was all an illusion. Behind the scenes, she investigates the girl and has basically everything she needs to know about her and then prepares her own sick plan. The girl's best friend advises her not to trust strangers but the girl doesn't listen and insists on meeting Gray. She even went to her house for dinner at night. When the girl looks in the cupboard for a candle she sees a bag full of bags. The bags were identical to the ones she had found that day. Each bag was labeled with a different name and mobile number. She was in one of them, 